Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It. And that stands for the fittest undersized guru using intelligent tactics. Today, guys, I want to talk to you about a little saying that I heard years ago. And I don't remember where it was. Eventually, when you've been in any field and have studied quite um, extensively in any field, you start to forget more than you remember. And I think this is one of those cases. Um, and it is, nothing tastes as good as being in great shape feels, okay? Now, uh, back in the day, in my teen years and early 20s, I was the fat boy. I loved my food. I loved Italian food, being Italian. I loved fast food. I loved pizza, you name it. I just love food. And um, after watching Super Size Me, the documentary about McDonald's and whatnot, it really helped me to understand at least my own food addiction and, um, you know, wants and desires and like this craving that just never subsided inside of me to have junk food. So I would be on this crusade um, through, you know, like I said, those late teen years where I'd get up every morning and I'd have two toaster strudels and I would or I would have um, pop tarts or something like that. Then for lunch every day, I would go to McDonald's and just have a giant sack of food. And then every night for dinner, I'd order a large pizza. And I did this, you know, for a long time. Um, and granted, I still went and worked out every day. Um, and I was like thick, strong, you know, I'm a teenager. Of course I am. You know, I had all that testosterone flowing. But, you know, I didn't, um, like if I took my shirt off, you'd say, yeah, he definitely does not walk the walk as far as what he eats. So... I remember my cousin, he was um, going on a cruise for his uh, senior trip, and he was kind of like me. We, we liked our junk and all this other stuff, and he goes, you know what? I have a bet going with my buddies that I'm going to be the most ripped on the cruise. I'm going to be lean. And so I watched him for the better part of six to eight months just like diet like religiously and work out every day and just watch the fat melt off of him. And sure enough, when he went on that cruise, he was shredded and you know, I thought to myself, God, you know, if he can do it, I can do it, you know, because it's it's different when you see somebody in real life that you know, and you see them go through a transformation versus, um, you know, someone on Instagram or before and after, you know, product marketing thing, because it, it's like you, you in one sense, believe it when you see it right in front of your eyes, it really holds a lot of weight. So what I did was I just, it really inspired me and I said, I'm going to do the same thing. And I just swore off all fast food. And I didn't know exactly how to diet, but I knew like a baked potato was better than French fries. You know, I knew that um, a chicken breast was better than a hamburger, you know, things like that. So I just started making the changes that I knew were sensible, that were pretty common sense. So made those changes and I stuck to it for like close to 10 months. And went from around 215 pounds to neighborhood of 160, 165. So I lost a lot of weight and I looked good, had the abs coming in and everything. And um, people were like, you sick? Like anything wrong? Like, no, I'm just eating right. I'm eating healthy. I'm feeding my body the right fuel. And to be honest, I don't think I really stepped my workouts up that much. You know, they were about the same. Um, maybe my performance was better in the gym because I was healthier and I felt better. Um, but you know, I just did what I had to do and I looked at junk food or anything indulgences sweets as like rat poison Like if I eat this it, it's gonna kill me or it's gonna like I associated not achieving my goals and not being healthy with you may as well die So I took it very serious like it was life and death and then I remember um, I Decided that I never wanted to just be that like health nut that would never have you know something tasty again so I finally challenged myself and I went through um, to a pizza place and got one slice of pizza and I sat there, ate the piece, threw the wrapper out and left. And I had never done that before. I mean, I would get a whole pizza and that was my pizza. And I felt so vic victorious, just as um, good and accomplished as I felt from doing the, you know, eight, nine, 10 months of like strict dieting. I felt just as accomplished because I showed self-control in that way that I could have that as a part of my life, a small part and not have it every day or feel like it was going to be a trigger to have me overeating. So it was um, pretty amazing. And I got to say that over the years, I've had very 
little, um, very few issues, if any, um, since then with like food addiction. Sure, like everybody else, I might just have those days where you're starving or when you're sick and you just really want something that's like a comfort food. But I've never slipped back into like daily bad habits like that in addiction to um, fast food or anything else like that. So, um, so if you're on that path, you guys, I mean, the thing is, is take the, take the mind, the, like the, the, don't give it such like, a, don't, don't give it power over you. What I mean is like, don't overthink diets. Don't, um, continue to look for the next latest, greatest thing. You know, you probably have enough information in you already and know how, um, to start just either count your calories or, you know, have just, you know, um, portion control or, you know, if you know things are trigger foods like chips or anything, cut that crap out, cut out pop, you know, and then just start living on your purpose. Start doing the daily things and recognize that you're going to miss those foods, that there's times where you're going to feel hungry. But if you're drinking enough water, eating enough fruits and vegetables, having enough lean protein, all of a sudden your body's going to start to feel better and your hormones and everything else, your gut health, everything's going to start working optimally. So you don't have to have all this stuff figured out. Just start doing something and start doing what you know and start walking as the undersized underdog that you are. Lean, mean, fighting machines and other F words too. All right, guys, take care. Hope that helped. Went to fire you up, buttercup. Have a great rest of the day. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk again soon.